Got to take out the trash. Uh, oh well. Anyway, people, what's cracking today? We're gonna get into the eCam demo. We're gonna show you how to do all things eCam. All you need to know, real, 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 real quick, is that you need to put Q colon in front of your questions before you ask them because it just makes life easier for everybody. And on top of that, other than that, we're gonna get in. So let's have some fun. I uh, see lots of people coming through, checking it out. What's pop a lop in? All of a sudden, my Computer just decided they wanted to open up calendar. I don't even use calendar. I use Fantastical calendars for turkeys. <laughs> so, uh, one other thing, let me open up Chrome real quick just in case we need it. And then we're good to go. All right, we're in there like swimwear. Jace. All right, so we're going to get in here. We're going to talk about ECAM. We're going to show you how to do all of the things. Uh, I don't think this is a question, this is a statement, but you are absolutely the only point to download beta in any software anywhere in the world is to tell the developers what's not working the way you expect it to or you would like it to because otherwise, why have a beta? That is the entire point of a beta is to allow them to fix all the myriad things for you're doing the community a favor. If you tell them something that's not working out or it just seems a little odd or whatever, and then they can polish it up. You know, they come in there and they get one of these. And then it's like gravy. And then so when the next person gets it, they never run into that experience. And then, you know, all's good in the hood, as they say. So that's the only reason to have a beta. It is not so that you can play with software cool before everybody else. It's in order to help out your fellow uh, Ecamm family members or any other software for that matter. There's a reason why we have iOS beta on your iPhone or Mac OS beta is so that you can tell them what's wrong before it comes out. And then we have like some kind of random streamer gate. <laughs> All right, Artie, 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 Artie. What's up? Anybody that's brand new, do us a flavor and let us know. Uh, nice uh, nail there, Roy. Do us a flavor and let us know so that way we can make sure that we give you what you need to know and then help you out. Boom. Uh, native Q&A function coming to the new Zoom release in October. <laughs> Man, that's, um, that's funny because you know how much I absolutely love Zoom. There's a couple things on my list. There's broccoli and Zoom. And I think it's not long before Zoom overtakes broccoli, the Dallas Cowboys, and Liverpool on my list of things I absolutely can't freaking stand. <laughs> anyway. 
<laughs> That's a whole different thing. Everybody laughs at me for that, but I just can't stand it. That and well, Paul Duncan's working his way up the list too. I just broke. I'm looking at Paul in the Discord. <laughs> I think he, I think he just peed a little. <laughs> anyway, gang, let's go into live demo mode real quick. Um, I keep telling myself to put this dang button on the new stream, uh, the stream deck update since it just updated because of the beta, and then I still haven't done it yet. There we go, live demo mode. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, Aubrey, are you drinking early in the morning? What are you doing? Oh, I know what she's doing. Anyway, gang, so this is what it looks like inside the... <laughs> I know. I know, David. <laughs> I know. I just... I, I, I'm going to tell you... I'm going to tell you real quick the reason why I hate Zoom so much. And... It's just, it's a principle thing. It's just a principle thing. If you tell people, hey, this is great software, blah, 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 and you get to use it, and it's going to be fantastic. Cool. If I have to send an email in order to get to you to give me what I asked for in the first place, uh, it's shady. It's just a shady business practice because they didn't think it all the way through. You should not have to send them an email to ask for higher quality. They should give you their best quality from the gate. Imagine if your kids came home and only gave you D homework unless you asked them, hey, can you try getting at least a B? And then all of a sudden they get straight A's. You would kind of want to um, do things to kids that we used to get that they don't get nowadays, which is like a pop in the backside. Uh, no, that's just dumb. That's just dumb. Or imagine, you know, your your spouse giving you like a piece of bread every day for dinner and you write her a letter and say, honey, uh, can I get like the full dinner? And then she goes, oh, yeah, okay. And then she starts giving you the full dinner. Yeah, that's why Zoom needs a kick in the nuts. There you go. I'm done. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Paul, yeah, we're going to have a poll about, like, how many people like broccoli. Um, let's see. So we're going to get into, like, how to make a scene, whatever. I just want to make sure that we get any questions in that anybody needs. <laughs> Thank you, Dragon, for having my back. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a scene. This is our scenes panel, overlay panel, sound level, sound effects, comments, and reactions, which we'll get into as to why we actually do the cue colons. Here's our interview swatch, and then here's our camera effects right here. Um, charge more and don't be a bitch then. That's all you got to do. Make it 20 bucks a month or 30 bucks a month. And then nut up and just be grown folks. That's how. Uh, so th this is a brand new scene. The way you get to brand new scene, <laughs> I see that, Andy, is you can just press this button. Now, when you do yours, yours are going to come up blank like this. I do mine with a background or, you know, this background or if I really wanted to, like, you know, a background. A background can be anything. And you'll notice in my overlays panel, what I'm doing here, you have the situation that says show in background, right? And so whatever you put back here will become the requisite background for your whole setup, right? So if you don't want that, just leave it like this. But we say whenever you set your ecam up, here's your preferences. In your preferences folder, Underneath uh, video, you're going to have a situation where it asks you, what is your default source mode? So you can set it so that the default source mode is camera. And then now, if I were to slightly pop this out the way, come back to scenes and make a new scene, it'll come with the camera. The reason why you don't want to do that, just trust. We don't have, there are not a lot of things that should be set in stone in Ecamm. But I'm going to keep telling everybody until they tell me to stop telling everybody, you should start with blank. Always start with blank. And I'm going to show you why. Because uh, you're going to be in the middle of doing something and say, in this particular case, you already have it like this. And then, you know, you uh, pop on an overlay camera like such. And then you pull this bad boy out. Boom, 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 boom. And then you pull this bad boy. Wait, 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 wait. And then you pull this bad boy out, right? And then you're all ready to go. And then something happens, and all of a sudden, it goes back to this. 
then you'll look really, really bad. However, if you have it at blank and you go to create a new scene and it always starts like this, then you don't have as, as bigger problems. So it is just in your best interest to set this setting first. The rest of these settings are kind of sort of up to you, but this is the one that I will say is set in stone. And most people who've done this before will tell you the same thing. Go to video, set that sucker to blank, and then work your way through the rest. Honestly, if everybody who downloaded the program would come to the preferences first and just comb through each one of these tabs and pick the things that seem to make sense to them first, they would be winning. And then come and ask questions for the ones that they didn't understand, and then they would be winning. But nobody does that, so every Friday I got to come here and do this. <laughs> I don't mind. I'm just saying that will make any program you download. If you download a brand new program today, the first thing you should do is just open the preferences and read what you can change. And if the, if the app is good, the preferences would kind of tell you just about everything you need to know to get the majority of the 80% out of the program. It just seems to be the case. The other thing I like to do whenever I get a brand new program is pop these menus open and just comb down and just read and see what happens in every one of the menus. Before I do a hello world or anything, I just come in here, comb through the menus, and notice the co most common question we get is, hey, what's the shortcut key for da -da -da -da? Look, fam, every program in the planet, the shortcut keys are right there on the side. So all you got to do is know that, and then you're gravy. You know, life is gravy. Super, super easy, cover greasy. All right, let's bounce. Let's get it. So you got yourself a brand new scene. And again, I like to start with a background. I normally do this first. Now, a couple of other modes that are available. Let's say you are doing a camera only situation like this. You also have a situation where the middle tab here is a picture of an iMac. And that picture of an iMac will get you the ability to share screen, which is going to look like this. In this case, I get to see my homies chilling in the Discord, right? And the other option up there at the top is the ability to play a movie so if you have a movie going there you can just hello select one from yeah nancy gray here i have been using e come back to that right you can select one from the list and it's good to go now when your movie plays let me play this real quick and then i'm going to uh silence him and then unmute myself the way it normally works is when the movie plays it automatically mutes your microphone so if you're using a movie that's not a movie to entertain or not a movie to inform, but a movie to stylize your show, say like in the transition, it will mute your microphone by default. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and undo that so that way you can talk over the thing that's playing. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Uh, where'd you go, Ian? I just saw you. Oh yeah, he's at the top now. Hello, Ian Nancy Gray here. I have been using Ecamm Live since it came out just about. I bought my first. Love All right, so you see my volume control right here? Talking about it. This controls the and individual the movie. But if, let me do this real quick. If I didn't want to control just the individual movie inside sound levels, I have this movie control. I just want you to see that these are separate. Oi, don't grab the whole thing. Hey. I'm going to be talking. I'm live anyway. See, these are get... separate. If I turn this down, this changes it for all the movies, not just this particular one. So you have that. Now, other things you can do. When the video ends, do nothing. Loop the video. Go to next scene and broadcast. Those are the capabilities. I have my closing scene on my personal screen as a movie file. And then when that movie is over, it automatically ends the broadcast. By that time, I'm after party in the Discord already. Panic at the Discord. Wait, that's a, that's a whole nother group. Um, then you can do start from the beginning or start from the last position. So let's pop this over to start from the last position. And then let's rewind Ian to about right here. Give him a little volume. Come live since it came out just about. I bought my first Mac. So if I go to here and then I go back, it will continue that play. I love the product. I've been talking about it for years. And I love the community. So that's some of the quick settings you have in here. You can... Back 30 seconds, forward 30 seconds. <clears throat> by doing that, you see I muted myself by muting the mic, and I could turn on. Pimp. 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 All right, there you go. So that's just a couple of things that you can do. And if you don't want the stock built-in pimp, you can make your own pimp by hitting this camera and then coming over here 
and then slick camera, A camera, B, whatever you have connected, and then you can do something like, hey, I want to use a squircle instead of the generic pip, right? And then so I can put myself over here and be like, ha, huh, I'm Velvet Jones, right? So you can get in there like this. Um or change your default preferences to automatically mute microphone and guests during video playback under the tab. And <laughs> yes, exactly. I normally leave mine muted, but I have it unmuted because of the demo. But yeah, normally I have it unmuted. It's very important. Very important. And what Keely is talking about is like when you're over here and uh, I believe it's in general. And I forget where it's at. Hold on. Why can't I remember? And this one's also cool. Um, when you when you have a guest in a room and you want to be able to talk to them you can use this checkbox so that while you guys are talking, it goes down. Man, where the heck is that damn thing? <laughs> That's super funny. Why am I missing it? I'm in beta, so it's probably just in a different spot. Autoplay video files, yes. Oh, yeah, right there. I already had it checked. There it is. So, yes, you can have it set to automatically mute microphone and guest during video playback. So, yes, to me, that's the best way to leave it there um, because, yeah. But if you, like, I guess if you are showing video highlights all the time, I guess what Keely does, she shows video highlights all the time, you might want to turn that off. Um, I rarely show videos. If I do, I normally download them anyway because I don't trust playing a video from the internet while you're streaming at the same time. This is kind of crazy, but hey, you do you. If you got that good, good internet, then knock yourself out. All right, so anyway, that covers that. Let's go back to Tia. So we're going to go here. Again, Command-Shift-B puts you in blank. Then you got your camera situation here. All right, so now that I got my camera situation, I can expound upon this. Press on the little pencil here. Whoops, and then I want to adjust my corner radius for my squircle so you can, you know, design it however you wish you will. And I had it at 68. Yep, and then you can add a little border to give it a little sauce, right? If you want that sauce, right? I like the border. I like 8 to 10. It's about good. Pop it out, and there you go. So I'm going to leave the screen share thing here for a second. If I'm ready to put on the thing for a guest, like I need to have a guest, what I do is find the middle spot right here. That looks good. Hold down the option key, drag across, and then now you got a spot for your guest, right? Another way you can do that. Let me delete that. Eight to ten. Highlight this one. See the little box? That box tells you that it's highlighted. Command C, keyboard. Gangster. Command V, keyboard. Gangster. And then it's already separate. For a guest, like I need to have a guest. I Kills, do. I think you're bleeding into the Discord. There you go. So then you have your, your other other guests like that. Wait, that's not supposed to be that high. I'll fix that in a second. Oh, that's fun. Bam, here we go. So now you got yourself in there. And then that would be sort of like spot for you, spot for your guests. Let's say you're talking about something. And this doesn't have to be this kind of overlay. Look, I can show Jiggly Chrome up in here. You know what I mean? So if I wanted to show you something that was you cooking in Chrome. You have your, your other, other. Ah! Oh, okay, I was just checking. Mm, bam, bam, bam. There you go. Now you got Chrome popping, right? See those little borders right there? If those start to, to trouble you some, all you got to do is hold down the option key. Grab the edge and tuck them in. Tuck them in. You can kill the bar right there. You can tuck up the bottom just a smidge. 
and then you can tuck in the side. And then now you don't even see any border. It looks gravy. You know what I mean? You can come over here, add a little curve to it so that it matches this one, right? Chop some of that edge off. Bam. You could even add a little border to it if you wish, right? Chop some of the edge off. Let's knock that sucker to 10. And then now we're good. We're all good in the hood, right? It's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> They're not ready. <laughs> Roy, they are not ready. Everybody asked for this, but they don't have the hard drive space for it, the internet connection for it, or the wherewithal or how to edit a video with six Kim folks in it. So I'm just waiting to hear all of the crying about why they need to buy a Mac Studio after they asked really, really hard to get, you know, I need 10 guests. Okay. Uh, all right. Hey, a Mac Pro is five grand. Uh-huh. Told you. I can't wait. I can't wait. This is just going to be funny to me. Uh, yeah, there you go. Download it too. <laughs> there you go. I, I know, Kaylee, I knew. Thank you for reminding everybody, Kills. I knew you were on it. You really just don't want to. Um, you just. People do it all the time, and it's crazy because the, the net is not a constant. I know what they sold you, and I know what they told you, but the net is just like the 405. When ain't nobody on it and you got that brand new Ferrari, yes, you can get to like 120 and you look gravy. But at 4 o'clock on a Friday, you get to 20 if you're lucky. <laughs> so that's what happens. And you just never know. So it doesn't matter that, you know, Rogers or Cox or Xfinity or somebody told you you got gig internet because the gig internet is when nobody else is there doing stuff with you too. So this is why you don't really want to just play YouTube videos on a whim. It's better for you to download those videos. And I could tell you how to download them, but YouTube normally uh, gets mad at these videos when you tell you how. But just do a little Google search or you should, anybody that owns a Mac should probably be on set app. Um, that's a whole different conversation. I think I have a link docrock.live slash set app. But most people in the creative space, most people in the Mac use in general should just have set app. It's like a Netflix subscription for a whole bunch of really dope Mac utilities and apps that if you bought them individually will easily cost you two, 300 bucks. And half these things you use when you use them and you don't when you don't. There's a couple things that you I, re, I use religiously in there. But, yes, yeah, set app is the truth. And I just, you should get it. If nothing more, um, yeah, it's good. Been on a hot spot all day. Checking out my women in that reliability. <laughs> Gangster. Oh, yeah. Quick uh, reminder, since Keely reminded me to remind me to remind me. This is a public service announcement. If you have not spoken with your cable company, say in the last six months or so, today, not tomorrow, not next week, not let me write this down so I remember it later, today is a good day to call them and be like, hey, hello Spectrum, this is Kathleen. Hey Kathleen, this is Doc. Am I getting what I'm paying for? Uh, may I have your account number, please? Listen, lady. <laughs> All right, give me your account number, whatever. And then you say, okay, Kathleen, um, am I getting what I'm paying for? Why, what do you mean, Mr. Boyd? I'm paying you uh, $89 a month, and according to what I got, I was getting, say, 500 down and 50 up. Is that still the current rate for that particular price point? And then she'll go, tackety, 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 tack. Oh, oh, it seems like... Now, at that price point, we're giving one gig down and 500 up. Say that again, Kathleen. Uh, that's one gig down, five gig up. Well, adjust my account right now, or I would drive down there. Okay, and then they fix it. We need to send somebody out to install the fiber. Okay, and then they'll fix it. So some of you guys are struggling with whacked out internet because you haven't called your cable company to check on them. As they progress and grow, buy new equipment, upgrade their kit, they most cap Spectrum does good. Most don't. Spectrum does it automatically. They didn't used to, but now they do. Cox, never. Xfinity, absolutely not. Most of these guys 
will not automatically upgrade you to whatever that current price point is getting you. So again, imagine you were used to getting a a uh, gallon of gas for you know four bucks, and then now anybody that pays four bucks gets a gallon and a half. You'd be pissed, right? Same thing. So just if you haven't done so in a minute, call them. Ask them, am I getting what I'm paying for? What is the going speed for the rate that I'm currently paying? And then normally they will change you. That's it. Okay. Uh, yes, um, there's instructions, Jeff. And uh, I will show you that real quick. Normally I would be like, I got to tell you, but it's, it's so easy that it's semi-painful. So let me show you. Here's an instructions. These are the days. Rather than mess this scene up, let me just make a new one real fast. Uh, Kiel's going to give you the info, but I'm going to show everybody where it's at just in case. It's super simple. It's easy peasy, cover greasy. It's just like getting my hair cut. <laughs> uh, la, 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 la. We want to go to square. Here we go. That's what I was looking for. Bam. I'm going to hit this button down here. This is a little iMac. It gives me a new screen. I put the new screen right here, not to be confused with new skin. That's a scam. And then I'm going to click on this and scrolly, 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 hit the Discord. Boom, panic at the Discord. All right. So again, hold the option key. I can tuck these bad boys in, tuck these bad boys in. And if I wanted to make sure that you didn't see that I was, you know, subscribed to any weird channels, I could tuck that in. I'm not. The weirdest channel I'm subscribed to is called Discord for Creators. Anyway, oh, you can't see what I just did. I messed it up. Inside of Ecamm, if you go to um, how to Discord on the side, there's the command right there at the top. This is the very first thing because Keely put it there because everybody was going to have that question. Two, that's it. Easy peasy, cover greasy. Love it. Love it, 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 love it. No, you don't have to re you don't have to reboot your Mac. Yo, Jeff was there. I saw him, but you don't have to reboot your Mac. It's just a matter of running that command. Oh, look at this swanky station. Okay. Uh, looking dope. Dang, that is a lot of screen action right there. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. That is a very nice setup. Ooh, even with the music thing popping right there. I love it. Four stream decks. I love it. Did you just put a joint on the table? What is that? Anyway, let me stop sidetracking. <laughs> All right. So that covers a little bit of how to use cameras and how to use uh, screen share overlays. So a couple other things that we got inside here. We have the ability to pop on the image. What most people do as they come over here on the bottom, here, let me just run through these real quick. This is new image overlay. The second one is new animated overlay. The third one is new screen share overlay. The fourth one is new text overlay. The fifth one, I almost forgot my count, <laughs> is the new countdown overlay. And then there's a new widget overlay. And then there's a new camera overlay, which I probably pressed about 17 times today. And then here's the ability to group them joints, right? You group them, group them, group them, get them all together. So now, I, I thought that was you, Bicky. I thought that was you because you're the only person I know psycho enough to rock four stream decks. Good to see you, fam. Appreciate you. All right. So in this situation, most people will come over here and click this button, and then they'll go find an image to drop in, and then they'll drop in the image, right? I'm going to uh, show you guys the image real quick just to show you how to do this. Um, take a moment. In this clip, you'll see me making a fool out of myself when I was in school. But my friend that I'm playing with in this picture recently passed away. So sad day for me. But hey, let's give him some props. All right. So this is me in college playing soccer and... That, that's my buddy Yusuke who recently left us. But uh, yeah, you see, so you can just click a picture and then it adds it like that. Now, I don't do that and I don't want you to do that because everybody in my crew, they know how we do it. If ever you want to bring on an image, we are Mac people. So we just drag and drop, right? Drag and drop. 
Use your scroll wheel to embiggen or unembiggen accordingly, right? So there it is. That's how you do it. You drag and drop. Same thing if I want to put on a animated overlay. Let me show you how we do this real quick. If I drag this in, this is an animated overlay. This com coincides with that second button over there, the run with the little <laughs> in the back of the image. If I turn this loose now, I want you to pay attention to what's going to be the difference. Oh, that's not an error message. It's a warning. But what it says here is, do you want to add an overlay? Do you want to add an animated overlay? Do you want to add this file as an animated overlay? Animated overlays do not include audio. Add animated overlay or play full screen with audio. So I'm going to say animated overlay because that's what I want. And I got shh, ooh, wow, cool, shh, ooh, from the crowd. Problem is, no sound. And that, my friend, is not how I designed this joint. So what we do is we hit Control Z, undo that, and then come back over here and then bring in this version. Whoa. Now, why does this version look different? Why is there a Chrome icon? Because this ends in VPM. WebM, VP9.WebM. Anyway, the VP9 is unnecessary. The WebM is all you really need. WebM is a Kodak invented by Google to make YouTube videos not take up all the storage in the planet, <laughs> right? Basically, it's the similar thing to your iPhone and the HEVC Kodak on your iPhone that makes your you know 4K videos on your iPhone small. Google made their own. And there it is. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So here you go. Watch what happens when you do it as a WebM instead of as a standard MOV. What did I miss? There it is. There it, is. it took a minute. My um, computer was angry. But hey, so in this particular case, you'll notice that it has a little sound action. Right? So the... <laughs> the sound that I'm laughing at Iaco Arts. Iaco Arts, we're going to have this conversation in two seconds. Um, the sound action is because I took the movie file that I made and then I converted it to WebM. WebM will allow for transparency that the Alpha ProRes 4444 has, but it also will play audio. And then we got support as soon as Mac OS started to support it because Google and Apple made up and figured they should stop fighting about stupid stuff. And so now it's glorious and you can do that. How you get the animation to play again? Um, it plays automatically. That's a, move this out the way. Here, watch this. When you click on this button right here, woo, auto play. Play from the beginning, start from the last location. When it's done, do nothing. Hide temporarily, stay hidden or loop. So I just have it on autoplay. So if it's on autoplay, it autoplays. Right? So if I wanted to bring in a, uh, you know, typical YouTube moves, like, comments, and subscribe. Whoop. See this? Notice the ending. It says WebM, which means, oh, yeah. You can just drop it in the center. If you want to place it on a particular, particular. If you want to place it in a particular spot, you can put it over here. And I want you to pay attention to this. So the top says showing all scenes. The bottom says showing current scenes. I'm going to drop this one in showing all scenes, right? And then you get the, right? So what does that mean? That means that if I come over here to this particular scene and I want to run that back, I can still click that and get the same process because it's in showing all scenes. If I try to find the other one that I played, it's not there. It's only in this scene. So this one only exists in this scene. And I do want to turn off autoplay because every time I go to that scene, it will automatically play. And that joints get old. So all I need to do in this particular case is um, you know, add it to a hot key on my stream deck, or you can click over here in this bad boy and hit this little guy, and then I'll hit F for follow, and then when it goes away, let me come down here and change this guy, and I wanna say hide and stay hidden. I think that's the right one, I always forget. And then when it's, when it's missing, and I'm ready for it to play, I just hit F. Then it pops up. So you can throw those little keys on there again. You know what I'm saying? 
And yes, please, 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 please put the Q colon in the front. I'll show you why in about five minutes. Then you'll understand why we're so like psycho about the Q colon. But it really does make a big difference, right? So that will help you out a lot. Let's see. I see Caleb slid into the back of the rooms in there. All right, that's good. Cool. So let's come on over here. And then I'm gonna show you another couple of things real quick about this WebM situation. Now, I know with the amount of content that Keely has to show and her thing, she's not gonna do this, but here's another opportunity to take a video file and it's in a WebM format, means I can play it as an overlay video and not the other way around. So instead of being a pip of the video, I can let the video be a pip of me. But in order for the sound to come out, you're gonna to wanna to convert that to WebM2. Um, only if you call in, Kali. <laughs> All right, so let's pop Ian this Ian Nunster Gray here. I have hey, been using Ecamm Live since it came out just about. See? I bought my now first I Mac. I love here, the product. I've been talking about it for years. And I love the community. I love the family of so Ecamm. So now I can have, you know, point counterpoint with Ian and Shelly. Hey everyone, it's Shelly from Shelly Saves the Day. I want to send some special love out to my Ecamm fam. You guys know how much I love you all. I so like I could be doing a breakdown of these two video clips, like maybe I'm coaching on background and like you know, the simplistic nature of Ian's background and that you can really see Shelly's personality and her background. I could be doing a whole masterclass on presentations and pausing people on funny facial expressions. Then you got to remember which way to point. <laughs> so yes, if you convert your stuff into WebM, then you're in there. There's, there's uh, interview, uh, not interviews, there's tutorials on the channel on how to convert to WebM. It's super, 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 super simple. Kali, what it is, what it is, Miss Lady Girl. Man, I am super bummed. I'm going to LA in about 30 um, ish hours. And when I get there, Kali not gonna be home. So I can't link up with my homie. I'm like, come on, girl, why? <laughs> 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 I love Mickey. Mickey's the best. <laughs> anyway, so gangster, gangster. Let's get in here. And as you look at these again, what's really awesome about the web and format is it allows you to not only keep audio, you can have transparency, but even if you don't need transparency, it would allow you to put these overlays on as um, basically videos that you can play in kind, right? All right, cool. So let's get into one more thing. Let's pop over real quick. I'm gonna bring up this screen share overlay. First things first, I pop a, never mind. I'm gonna do this first. I'm gonna bring up a screen share overlay. And then I'm also gonna bring up a little micro camera. And the micro camera, I'm gonna click on this bad boy and switch it to this Insta360 link for no other reason than the heck of it. Switch this to a circle and then put me over here. Now. Again, this is my little design tricks. Y'all don't gotta be like me. I'm I'm pretty good at guessing, but you gotta give it just a little smidge and then not are close enough that no one's gonna notice. So, you know, it's just a random little design thing. All right, so let's say I wanted to come in here and go like this. And now, what I'm about to show you, never do this in real life. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to show you as a way of teaching you how to use Ecamm, but trust you me, you, no, do not get lazy and do this. Everyone asks me how, and I just want you to know it's possible, but what I'm about to do is really stupid. This is the streamer's equivalent of running down the street like this, okay? You know what your mama told you? Wait, you go like this and go like this and then go like this. This is the, what I'm about to do is what your mama would have a cow. If you ran down the street looking like I'm fixing to look, this would be the amount of trouble that you would get into. This is running down the street like this, okay? Do not do what I'm about to show you, but I have to show you for the purposes of Ecamm. Everyone gets lazy and they all say, hey man, how do we put comments on screen? Do not put comments on screen. It will cause you to lose your channel we watch, we watch a very big channel almost get ruined for life over putting the comments on screen 
as opposed to bringing up comments manually like like you know like this right so if you bring up a comment manually like this that's fine what i'm about to show you don't do that it's um it's a uh, borderline ignorant <laughs> okay so hey don't turn that off dun, 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 dun. all right let me hit press this button and i'm gonna go to ecamm and then put comments and reactions boom this allows me to put all of you guys on here real quick. I'm gonna adjust mine to make it fit. Uh, actually, let me just adjust this window instead. Notice that they change a little bit when I do this. So I can make it fit. There we go, now it fits. All right, so let me show you why we ask you to put a Q cooler. We're not just trying to be, you know, insane. Paul's a actually, but in this case, there's a reason for it. If I need to find a comment, right? So for instance, Kali had a question, bam, let me click on that because I know I want to get back to Kali's question, right? That was really cool. And then I want to click on, uh, there was another question in here. Oh, boom. I like this comment. That was a fantastic comment. And <laughs> thank you, Sal. All right, cool. So if I go to favorites at the Q and a portion of my program, I can see Saul said, you know, what up? Thank you, Saul. Happy that made you smile. Or Sal. I don't know why I keep mixing that up. You better call Paul, Saul, Sal. Get it, whatever. All right. Meaning like in salt. And then, yes, uh, my point about the Wirecast thing. Let me explain it to you. I come from Wirecast. And when I started messing around with Ecamm, after like 15 years of Wirecast, I was like, done. I can't believe that I paid Telestream 900 bucks all the time for that damn program because he can run circles around it. So yes, that was my, and when I worked at AOL, that was our swag, right? And then I got Kali's question. Do you have an interview mode tech checklist for guests? Yes, we do. Are there any particulars uh, I should be aware of for folks on PC? Yeah, don't be friends with them. So simple, just no. A browser is a browser. The browser doesn't care whether it's Mac or PC. Their world just sucks. Our world is cool. That's all, that's it, nothing special. All right, so see, so the reason why also we say, <laughs> it's a negative comment, why we say don't do that is like, listen, if I want to get you just the questions, I can go Q colon, bam, and now I can find all of the questions in one fell swoop. So for all of the other people that had questions in here, I would never see them because I have to go and hunt through these and try to guess like this is a question. Now, I can do this, but the disadvantage to doing this, sometimes the questions are people talking to each other, not necessarily to me. And then so like this, Keely is saying, Jeff, did you join the Discord? Right. That's none of my business. I was doing something else. Keely and Jeff are discussing the, the fine, uh, you know, key finer points of Discord and whether you should drink Pinot versus a Shiraz. Right. And that just throws off my screen. So I don't want just to throw the question. Some sm smart every time. Some smart. Can't you just flirt my question mark? No, fool. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for people talking to me. We're not looking for people talking to each other. So Q, bam. Now I can see the actual questions. And in this particular case, with 41 people watching, this is semi manageable. When it's over like 100 people, you're going to wish you had. You're going to wish you had in instructed your audience to get used to using that Q colon. The Q colon is life. We, as the Ecamm people, have kind of made it a thing all throughout the internet. So I smile when I go to other people's stream. They got nothing to do with Ecamm. And they're like, if you have a question, can you please put a Q colon? I'm like, they either went to Mr. Paul's moderator class or they, they found it from one of our members done spread the aloha. So it, it will save your bacon. And again, don't do what I just did and put these comments on screen. It's a horrible way to live. Okay, let me uh, come back in here and I'm gonna switch this to sound levels before Rich says anything crazy again. All right, cool. Now we cooking with Pam, now we cooking with Pam. And yes, Carly, again to your question, nothing special that PC people need to know. Um, it uh, Headphones are still headphones, right? Wired internet at all time is still wired internet at all time. Right? Um, let me do this real quick. Yes, headphones are headphones. Wired internet is wired internet all times. Never, never not. 
Never, never not. I don't know if Mr. CJ is up in the building, but check it out. I can use this colon right here and look for Junkie. J-U-N-K-I-E. Bam. Yes. See, uh, Cameron Junkie is here. So, funny, funny situation about always doing your tech check, people. If you saw the last two editions of The Flow, you might have saw some weird things happening with my internet. Uh... Because, <laughs> number one, on one of them, I had forgot to switch on Speedify. And on the other one, I had disabled wired internet. Why did I do that, Doc? Well, because I was doing some testing. I have a 10 gigabit network in here. And I was doing some testing. And it turns out I had a bad SFP plug, which is like French to most of you guys. But it's the way that the fiber optic connections on the 10 gig network convert themselves into the standard cable that you folks are growing up with. And in the process of testing this out, I disabled my, my wire internet like a dummy and I completely forgot about it. So in those cases, even on a relatively gangster 10 gig network, like your router is 300 bucks, my router is a thousand. Like I have a really badass setup here and I disabled the wire connection just because I was monkeying around with something, got sidetracked, somebody called, went to the store, you know, had some Hawaii's magic vegetables and boom, I ran for like a week on wired wireless internet, just wondering like what the hang was going on. So do not do something crazy like what I just did. And who's joining and unjoining the discord every five seconds? <laughs> it's Jeff. Jeff, reboot. Reboot your machine, Jeff. Your Discord is angry. <laughs> you got to reboot your machine. Okay. So, boom. Uh, please note, if a comment or spam is removed. Oh, very good point. Um, when when you someone sends in like, hey, look at these naked girls, and it shows them on your screen, your moderators might remove them, but it will still come up in your... So kind of like read the comments before you express them. I watch this go down all the time. Yo, what's up, Dave? Good to see you here. Appreciate you, fam. Appreciate you. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you. Thank you. Dave said we have definitely set the Q standard. Uh, <laughs> if you think cranberries is too like applesauce, uh, do you think they would taste more like prunes <laughs> than root <laughs> That's a good question. That is a good question. Actually, I like a good rhubarb, Vicky, believe it or not. I actually like a good rhubarb. Um, yeah, you definitely, Caleb, absolutely. Good to see you. I saw you over here with your Santa hat, but now I have Caleb in two places. <laughs> yes, it was super funny, like just completely random. So, again, one of the things, like we always say, check to make sure your guest is on wired internet. And... In the process of us checking if something was going wrong, we didn't double check if the wired was on because in Mac OS, it's very easy to disable your wired connection. You just say, set this service as inactive. If you don't know how to do that, don't worry about it, <laughs> okay? Just never do it. Anyway, so meanwhile, back at the range. Let's get down here into some of these here sound situations. And so what you see right here is my Rodecaster Pro doing the damn thing. I can add another situation Now you're like from the Insta360 link, but it's all the way across the room, so it probably sounds horrible. But what that does, good backup connection, right? Also, this is a little hot, so let's bring that back down to 80. That's it's fun. There you go. So now I can use my Insta360 link microphone as a nice backup, so you can have another backup. Maybe you have another interface, and that interface is what you're using to bring in your DAW or a secondary computer or something of that. So I just wanted you to see that you can add a, you know, situation. Um, first of all, Pepper Tree Villa, what it do? What it do? Long time no see. Uh, for wired internet, what's the minimum upload speed recommended to guest have for your host on your stream? The documentation says five um, megabits per second for a standard issue guest. I don't care what any document says anywhere. Just always double it. 
So 10. Five is dope. Five is the real deal holy feel. But if you really want to get silly, just say 10 so you got a little bit more comfort in your system. If you know your guest has less than 10, hey, pull your stream back to like 1080, which I would just be like, nah, fam, either grow up and get good grown folks internet or you can't be on my show. I'm a little bit picky. I don't like having guests on with wax sauce internet. I'm not that desperate for guests, right? I can handle the show by myself. So if somebody come in and they stuff ain't saucy, see ya. Oprah could come up in here and be like, hey, I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna dial in from my iPhone from my car. No, you won't. I tell you what, Oatmeal Winfrey, you better go home and get a computer and step up. Like, she is not allowed on my show looking crusty. It's my show. My show has a standard, right? You have to have that amount of understanding of how much you care about your show. I see too many people accepting craziness from a guest because, like, I had to get this guest on. Yo, I'm telling you right now, the I wouldn't let Cristiano Ronaldo on my show looking saucy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't happening. You got to come through. You got to come through, man. And everybody know, that's my G. I'd be like, sorry, Cristiano. I'm going to learn how to curse you out in Portuguese, but you better get a faster connection. Call me. Call me back. It's simple. All right. Boom. Yo, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you again. I check I check like four times a day. I still ain't got it. I've been on IG since day one, and I still don't have it. I swear I've been checking four times a day. Congratulations. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Okay. So, whoo, don't do that. Now, go to the next one. When I was playing the movie up here, let's do this again real quick. Hello, Ian Hansen Gray here. I have been using Ecom Live since it came out just about. Uh, I bought my first Mac. I so you remember, that's that movie setting. So anything you play from this icon up here in the top, that's controlled by this, right? So <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Felicia. <laughs> Hi, Felicia. Seriously, one of my favorite people in the world. Thank you for being a moderator. And you didn't tell me if you got your package. I hope you got your package. If not, somebody stole it. Let me know so I can get you another one. All right. So very dope. I like that movie sound effects. Now sound effects, sound effects come from down here. And even I messed up my own thing. Notice if I change this back. Well, I'm going to do a secondary window so you guys can see them rocking in the same time. At the same time. Click this. Ecamm Live Beta. Sound effects. Wire. Okay, now you can see. Don't let them fool ya. Oh, no. All right, bam. So you come down here, click on my music. Got my little Glock and Spiel, right? I can play the Ecamm Fam, the Master Jam. And I can control the individual audio track right here. So I can soften them up, louden them up, soften them up, right? So you can do that. And the reason why you want to be able to do that, because everyone always says, well, when I play music, some of my songs are at different levels than others. I'm like, well, level them first. Get Levelator or Auphonic or many of the other 60 things that can do this. Level them all first. People want to do no pre-production and they get mad. But if you don't want to do that, then you got to come in here and adjust the sound levels for everything. Because for instance, if I go to hit the DJ air horn, I have to turn it down. Yes, I know the thing doesn't show, but if I go here, you can see I got to turn it down. Otherwise, Rich will complain. So then when you hit the air horn over here, Right? Or if I come over here and blast you guys out with this one, if I press R. DJ Doc Rock. DJ Doc Rock. You know what I mean? So you can just set your stuff up. You see the little shortcut keys are there. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell. You can just press it, press it again to stop it. And notice that the time plate in this little section down here on the bottom, you'll see there is a little time indicator when you rock one of these. DJ Doc Rock. So I cycled it out because I hit multiples and that does freak out the time, but it settles once it gets back to a single. So just want you to know when you got a single jingle, you can see the time and no see how long you have to let it flow. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> You guys, you guys got me cracking up today. This is super awesome. Thank you guys for just being up in here. I mean, I, this Friday would have been a junk one. I, I watched just Brazil screw up a game that they should have won. And then it made me sad because there's three Manchester United players on that squad playing today. 
Anyway, so we got all of this popping. There's your, your things. One thing to note, you can put stuff in the folder. So I have stuff in the folder up here. In the folder, you can press play on this and they will play in perpetuity as long as you remember to come down here and turn on the old loop switch. So you can just stack in like a whole heap squad of like Christmas music or like, you know, yoga music, whatever your stream is doing, and just put them in a folder. If you press play on the folder, not the individual track, those suckers will just run. So I know a lot of people do that. You know, they got sound popping while they're doing their stuff. Um, if you're watching like, you know, one of Dina's shows and she's doing something in the kitchen that just pop the music on, just let it run. You can also just play it from like iTunes, Spotify, whatever, because you have this uh, system audio guy over here that allows that to work. Just remember, on almost every platform now, they're very good at catching you playing copywritten music. So if you're playing WAP, and you will get muted or booted or banned. So don't play WAP live on your thing. Get your own music, you know, or ask somebody to make it for you. Alrighty then. All right, let's step, let's step, let's step, let's step over to do one more. Let's check out this interview thing real quick because um, Kali asked for it. Let me put that back. Click on this pencil. Na, 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 na. Interview. Woyaka. Woyaka shot. Book, 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 boy, I got shot. All right, we're going to run that. We're going to run this. Ooh, we're going to do that. Bicky got a question. Bicky said, da, 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 da. I have Rollcast Pro too. Can I, and I bypass Ecamm. Is this okay? Or does Ecamm offer benefits that I use? I use Rollcast Pro too, as you can see in my doohickey over here. I run everything through the Rollcaster. Um, when I do the music thing, though, I tend to use the sound effects guy just because I don't have to. I just set it and forget it. So it has the benefit of doing that, whereas if you do it on the Roadcaster, you got to put everything on there. Now, most of my sound effects and stuff, I end up using the pads on the ro on the Roadcaster. Plus, my favorite one is I can do that because, you know, I say weird things. Or I just might want to come in here and sound funny like that. Or you know, might want to do something cool like that. So... Yes, I do end up using my Roadcaster, um, and I tend to put my random sound effects and things on there. As you notice, my sound effects stack in Ecamm is short. It's because they're more in the Roadcaster Pro. So uh, the post says, oh, really? Over a year? What? Really? So I didn't have my Chrome window open. That's fantastic info. Man, uh Paul, that's a we. Uh, one of us got to remember to tell the boys. It'd be cool if the poll info somehow got pulled back into this comments and reaction things. Anyway, so interview stuff is super simple. Somebody calls in, you can come over here. You can adjust their name. You can edit with a little edit box right here. This tab puts the the titles on and off them when they call in. You can select your camera that you want to talk to them from. If they have, uh, when they come in, they want to share a screen or do something of the nature, you can do that. And then all you need to know is you come down here and you click on this bad boy and you can pick which of these two that you want, right? Um, this little gearbox things allows you to come in here and set things like drag, drag in your, your logos and whatnot. I need to add new logos. I have been messing with my stuff for a minute, but uh, you come here, you add some logos and which or not. The only thing I would say that's most important to remember down here is don't mess with this. Like, leave this sucker off. Unless the person you're talking to refuses to wear headphones. Again, if they don't want to wear headphones, I normally ain't letting them on my show. Um, or I just trust that they know what they're doing. But definitely no rookies. Rookies with no headphones is a guaranteed problem. Rookies with headphones, safer. Right. So easy, you know, basically go like this. If they know what they're doing, they can rock headphones because they got their monitor set up in a certain situation, whatever. Yeah. You might get away with that anyway. So that fixes that. Um, I always default my window to dark mode because when the light changes on their browser over and over again, it changes their face light. So I'd start all my guest chat in dark mode and I like private chat so they can talk to me and I like them to see comments and viewer accounts. People say, Oh, can I hide the comments and viewer accounts? If you have to hide comments and viewer accounts from your guests, um, you up to no good. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> anyway, so if you want to turn off interviews, so nobody calls you just pop that off. 
what I do is I use a custom link. So mine is uh, docrock.live slash join, and you can use uh, rebrandly or whatever to pretty that up. Um, we just had this entire conversation, Caleb, about using wireless stuff. AirPods do work. You just ride, ride that one with caution. AirPods work really well. Things like AirPods work, work really well, but that's the same thing as riding your motorcycle with no helmet. You're fine until you're not. So, yeah, use with caution. I, again, I try not to let nobody be wireless, nothing up in my stuff, but AirPods do work. Yes, rookies without a headphone is a hot mess. Why does your AI avatar look like Puerto Rican Tom Cruise? Like, I just want to know. Mike came out pretty funny looking too, so I'm not going to completely blame you, but you you got the full-on Puerto Rican Tom Cruise vibe popping right now. I just want to let you know. I just want to let you know. Uh, let's see. Let's see here. Um, that covers that. Oh, yeah, let me do camera effects real quick, and then we're good. If you got any last-minute questions, now the time to throw them because I have to do affiliate training, so I'm going to be out of here like Vladimir. Real quick, like, pop that on. Switch this to camera effects. La, 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 la. Boom. Kill this guy and this guy. Move this over here. Slide, slide, slippity slide. All right. Come along and run on us. Bam. Okay. So here's my setup for camera effects. All I want to say about this, really, do your white balance and your adjustments in your actual camera before you mess with any of these settings. Get yourself an 18% gray card. Make sure that it's white balance. Anytime you touch the lights in your room, you have to re-white balance. This is a challenge for those who like to use sunlight um, because it changes every day, right? Auto white balance sucks unless you are just um, really pale, then it kind of works. If you have any melanin in your system, auto white balance would not work for you because it wasn't designed with you in mind. <laughs> just say it. Uh, so definitely set your own white balance, get a great card, add yourself. If you, The minute you pass olive on the scale, you probably need to turn off auto white balance. Okay, so you got brightness. Doi, doi, doi. It is the wrong camera, the wrong camera. There you go. So you got the brightness controls here. Again, don't mess with these. Use your lights. <laughs> you got temperature control. Like if you got one of them crappy like $5 capture cards, they tend to cast yellow or magenta. So you probably look jaundiced or red accordingly. Um, that's when you would tweak that just a little bit because you can't really adjust that in your camera. That's the capture card that does that. Cam links don't do that. Yes, they're a pain in the butt, but they don't cast color. Right. So you got the same thing for your tent. Like unless you're doing it's the Grinch that stole Christmas. I'm, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? You can do that. Right. Um, you can go saturation, full 80s, back headroom. Right. Or you can go, you know, black and white or a little. This is a little at noir. It's coming to your night. When I do my ASMR, I do this. If you guys believe I do ASMR, I have some land to sell you on the big island with pretty orange river. Okay, so those are that. You can flip, right? You can go black and white. You can do sepia tone. These are in the beta. They're not in your regular version. You need beta for these, but they work. And then you can do the blur background effect, which kind of like adds a little bit of makeup. Like, you know, if you look like me, you want to smooth out some of the wrinkles, you can do that. Uh, de interlace only affects camcorder people. It doesn't really affect us, us uh, CMOS type people. And then you can also rotate. Uh, 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 uh. Super cool. Now, you can apply these adjustments to your camera as selected in all the scenes or just individual scenes. And so what does that mean? If if I were to like take this scene right here and dupli dupli duplicate it, I can take the second joint right here, hit black and white, hit the little zoom in, and come in so I can tell you something super important, right? But then when I go back to this scene, it's normal. Right? And then so we can do Sarah McLaughlin. These are the voice of an angel. Please, people, these puppies need your help. 
and then you can go back. You know what I'm saying? So you can do stuff like that. Uh, where it really comes in handy is if you got a wide enough shot, two guests, one camera, you can, you know, do a zoom and pan for guest one. Let me hit that, right? Zoom, zoom, zoom. Wow, that's a little close, Doc. So I can go this side for guest one. Then I can come over, cha, put this over here. And then I'm going to rock the zoom and pan for guest two. Right? And then so when I do the aya baya boya boya boya. A lot of mercy. No, don't you do that to me. So you got guest one. Hi, this is guest one. Okay, this is guest two. Ah, uh, this is guest one. Ah, uh, this is guest two. Right, so you can get you can get switch witchy with it like that. And that is camera effects. That is it in a nutshell. Let me check to see if you guys have any questions. Same thing. Same thing, especially the guests, because they're the ones that normally aren't technically savvy enough to recover from an issue. So, yeah, like, again, they're just like riding a motorcycle in their helmet. <laughs> like Indian movie stuff. <laughs> um, uh, as I found out, when you ride a motorcycle, it's not a matter of if you will crash, but when. Yes, obs. That is true. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What audio settings? Okay, so Rebel Without a Reason. Audio settings are like the thermostat in your house. I need to know what mic you got, what interface you got, what your room look like. Um, do you talk like a squirrel or do you got some bass in your face? Like that audio settings, it's like draws. Each one is up to you. There is no blanket audio settings other than set your sound levels at 80, which I already showed, and pick your proper interface, which I already showed, and everybody needs to have on headphones or don't come near my show, which I already showed. I'm by myself today. I don't need my headphones. But the minute you bring on the guest, everybody should have on headphones. Those are basically the only rules. Everything else is kind of up to your equipment. And um, the... Other important thing that people need to learn about their equipment, people need to learn about their equipment. Stop buying stuff and not reading the manuals and then calling everybody else to ask them how to use it. It's not that difficult. All this stuff is easy. Like the Rodecaster Pro looks pretty, got a lot of buttons. It's really simple. Cable in from microphone, sound comes out. <laughs> Cable out to speaker, sound goes that way. So what comes in, what comes out. That's it. That's really all it is. It is... A four-lane highway as far as microphones go and another four lanes as far as virtual sounds go. It's no different than a USB mic or one cable. It just happens to rock four. I mean, at the end of the day, vibrations go in this, come out, electrical signals, noise. That's it. That is the overarching system of sound. People make it way more complicated than it really is. And people are afraid of it for no reason whatsoever. Nine times out of ten, most things that come up with sound situations can be read in the manual. Like, super simple. And nowadays, if you're super lazy and you refuse to read a manual, um, I can't say what I want to say, <laughs> but go to YouTube and look it up. It's there. Like, it's legit there. Everybody that freaks out over Echo, it's nine times out of ten. Nine and a half times out of 10, maybe 9.999, like the little silver thing out of 10. Problem exists between keyboard and chair. Guest has three tabs open. One of those tabs is playing the show while they're talking to the show. Why do I hear my guest echo? Because your guest is listening to the show while you're listening to the show, right? Uh, you can't do that. You can't do that. Everybody grew up in the 80s. Call your favorite radio station. Uh, you are listening to W.W. Duncan. This is Paul DeMall. And I think, can, uh, can I help you? Uh, yeah, man. Uh, can you play uh, Fantastic Voice by Coolio? Uh, yeah, can you turn on your radio? Why? Because you're echoing back into the station. Oh, okay. You heard that. Everybody that's ever driven the car in the morning listening to the morning show has heard the DJ tell the person when they call in to turn on the radio. 
So why do you think your guests can have a tab open with the show that you're... I'm just saying. I mean, the, the level of common sense is really so small, it doesn't require a lot. And the, everyone has the experience. They just think they don't because the minute you say that it's tech or computer, they, they freak out. The same. Every single person in the Discord has heard their local DJ tell the person to turn on the radio when they call in. So why do you think your guests can be listening to the stream while you're live? I mean, seriously, that, that kind of stuff cracks me up 100%. It, it just makes me cry. It's hilarious. Yo, what it do? It's been here. It's been a minute. How you doing, girl? Good to see you. Wow, we got celebrities rolling up in here. <laughs> right, right? Thank you, Daniel. I appreciate you. I have no idea why people buy $700 mixer, complain that it costs $700, not even crack the manual. Uh, ask your brain surgeon about that. <laughs> you got jokes, Paul. When Paul was listening to radio, it was a Philco and one, one big knob. <laughs> Anyway, gang, I got to get ready to go do the affiliate thing. A uh, quick reminder, if you are not already in the affiliate program, family, you are sleeping. You're absolutely sleeping. Uh, during the Christmas weekend sale, affiliates cleaned house. And most of them, because they pay attention, they already done passed their 50 people. So they get like 40% if you're... If you're if you're regular, you get like 30%. But I'm telling you, it's easy money and uh, too many people are sleeping on it. It's so much easy man money. Boom. Then you rock. See? I appreciate that. Come to the demo every Friday. I, if you're too lazy to read the manual, just come here. I'll tell you how to do it every Friday. Um, except for next Friday. Next Friday, I'm not gonna be here. I gotta call AJ to see if he wants to do this. Next Friday, I'm going to be on the plane on the way to Japan. So that means I won't see y'all until January. I'll be back first week of January. Uh, I think that is like the fourth, fifth, maybe something like that. Oh, I know what it is. It's the sixth. I'll see you January 6th. I only know this because my course starts on January 7th. So yes, next this is the last time y'all get to see me for the year. I just want to ride out and say you guys have been awesome. My many people um, come to this joint every week. So rebel without a reason. People like Glenda have seen this thing a hundred times. I'm not even joking. Like legit a hundred times. Glenda's here every week. Of course, Paul here. Paul's the moderator. But you know, Keely, Rich, Mr. Cameron Junkie, Aubrey, like they come every week, and it's really really fun. <laughs> No, I'm not doing an in-flight demo. If Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll do the in-flight demo, Paul, but the entire demo will be, Minasan, konnichiwa. Kyo wa ano ikabe no demonstration go arimasu kedo, ono sensei wa doku desu. Na, mazu, ano scene no koto ga dekimasu kedo, ato de no bote ni yoshitara. Yeah, I'm gonna do the whole demo in Japanese. So take that, Duncan. I'm going on vacation, homie. Hey, Cameron Junkie, you do the demo. <laughs> anyway, I got to do affiliate stream. I'll see y'all later. You guys rock, man. This is going to be great. Everybody, have a happy holidays. Uh, Mele Kiliki Maka, as we say. And uh, happy new year. Merry new year. I've stolen from my brother Nimsi. I, I can't wait to uh, come back and catch up with you guys and tell you all my stories of my traipsing around the native country. I appreciate you guys. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> Thank Thanks, Ben. ben. <laughs>